hey all welcome and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing good okay uh, so to begin with the brief info uh, this is my channel uh, at the rate service now developer and uh, these are the playlist uh, playlists which i am primarily focusing focusing on now interview prep playlist which basically contains of practical use cases uh, which you may encounter and these use cases are very practical and very generic means it's not only like it you will uh, it will come of uh, it will come handy to you only for itsm module it will come handy to you in other modules also but yes the reference that i have taken is itsm but these tables and the uh, use cases are very generic and definitely it will prove helpful in other modules as well so yeah so with this playlist this integration playlist is one of a kind i would say that all the videos firstly it is from scratch there is everything in it every everything like there is uh, you know there is detailed use case explanation and each video is with a practical use case so there is there will be no gap uh, so there is full concept explanation there is also documentation shared so there will be no gap once you you just need to start this playlist and explore beginning 12 videos at the very minimum and you will get tuned with integration or at least you will understand what all okay and this is a must 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 playlist for uh, you know 3 to 5 years or 5 plus years of experience if you are not knowing integration it it will it won't it won't work i would say very straight it won't work so yeah you must explore this and uh, this is an active playlist as you see this was i think last to last video that i uploaded so you must must explore it and um, i will i have thought of you know uh, using flow designer as integration then integration hub third party integrations all those videos will be here but yeah i will uh, upload it in future videos okay and then this is your interview prep playlist which contains the practical use cases this every video here is learning every video here is learning you can trust me on that and just to open any 5 to 6 videos and you will understand the gist and every topic i have taken you can just see there is a uh, business rule script include change request advanced condition means too much of explanation is there service operations work space configuring the form layout in easiest way and you don't need to ui build a knowledge for that the thumbnail only expresses a bit of it the thumbnail and the text only expresses a bit of it but i would request you to completely completely explore these videos and i am sure that it will be very handy to you okay so without any further ado let's begin today's video so if you have you would have already seen the text flashing and from the thumbnail also you would understood so today's use case is basically i have to collect ip address information of the operational uh, computer devices uh, in my system so this is a very practical use case uh, and let me show you how like um, see uh, this is your this is your configuration item table and Uh, we will show matching in the computer class so you can see uh, that uh, uh, you can see that uh, this is the computer class so basically uh, what we have to do we have to collect the ip address information for all these uh, for all these devices and these uh, from this i will also filter the operational devices so basically that is the requirement and then you have to think of the form uh, the catalog form how it will look the variables you need the variable types so the you know all those things you have to think okay so that is basically your use case so so i have already thought of the uh, form layout uh, so let me just go to the cmdb uh, ci computer table and explain that to you and also yeah so basically uh, uh, these are the computer devices that will be coming up and of this i will filter uh, like so only the devices which are having operational status as operational and uh, as a tag is not empty uh, those devices come up so operational status you might all already be familiar with uh, apart from that as a tag i will tell uh, that this is one of the unique attributes and it is actually uh, very very widely used and uh, yeah it is uh, it is one of the unique attributes in the computer table and is very widely used and it can be used in various flows and conditions to make it easier so yeah this is a condition uh, that i will be putting in the computer devices and of course that will be the first question in the catalog form uh, that i will design the second one will be 
the asset tag of course so whatever computer device has been chosen in the first question out of whatever list is being displayed of these 810 devices so whatever device has been chosen from here uh, asset tag will auto populate in the uh, second variable that will be my second variable and third variable will be ip address which of course will be collecting information from the user and uh, it will be of a string type and it will only accept ip address otherwise it has to throw error so this is the form design i have thought of and uh, the form also i have roughly uh, made i mean i have only given the name and short description and description all those things i mean i have not uh, i have not given in uh, not created any variables so there is no technical information here but of course uh, this is how the form is expected to look so so this is asset info yeah so you can see i have given the name as asset info there is short description as asset info collection then in the description section i have given all this bold end and all that let me know if you want a video on that as well and also i have removed the cart layout from here so there is no option of ordering submitting or any kind of thing so basically i have created this form only for this video purpose uh, this uh, uh, service catalog sorry this catalog item is only for this video purpose it is i will only be showcasing you this these use cases is 2 to 3 what is already flashing on the screen so only those use cases and what i already explained also prior to this so only those use cases i will be showcasing you there will be no real order submission here so there will be no ratm generation no ta uh, task creation or there will be no flow to this nothing at all okay so since there is no order submission there is nothing following that as well so yeah uh, basically i have removed the cart layout so let me know if you need a video on that i can create a short uh, or i can create a long format video or whatever so let me know in the comment section if you need it so yeah this is uh, what i have already done and um, uh, yeah this is the catalog item so variables basically i have to create now uh, which i already explained to you the three variables that i have planned to create and um, yeah so let's begin so first i already explained you uh, that i will be keeping a reference variable order will be 100 and it will be uh, mandatory obviously so uh, it will be computer uh, so the people will choose computer here and it will be referencing the cmdb ci computer table which also i already showed you and a reference qualifier i will keep simple because we are already able to put the conditions there so we don't need to choose a uh, dynamic or uh, advanced reference qualifier uselessly unless it is done in oop features we should always prefer to do it in oop way only so this is the filter and then there is variable attribute uh, which i will putting like there is will be a ref auto completer which i will put like as x table completer and then there will be ref ac columns search that i will um that i will mark as true means that i will also trigger means there should be the field should be searchable with the columns that i specify here which that i will specify using ref ac columns variable attribute so name obviously name then there will be as a tag and then there will be assigned to so these are the variable attributes uh, for uh, auto completion if you don't know this will be another learning for you uh, ref ac columns search this is basically mark used to uh, enable the search for the reference fields in the catalog form and these are the uh, columns uh, via which your search is enabled so yeah that is about it how it looks actually i will keep it open and i'll just uh, keep on refreshing it after every variable that i create to just to show you an update so you can see uh, that computer is marked as mandatory as i already marked it there and then all these are coming up you can and you can see there is the name field here there is asset tag field here there is assigned to field here it's exactly because i uh, you know because i gave all these three uh, columns as the searching feature now i will just uh, pull up any of the asset tags from here and i'll put it here yeah so you can see uh, that device is being searched using the asset tag so this is what i wanted now the second thing uh, will be 
yeah second field uh, will be your asset tag which will be I'll, which i will be creating single line text and it will be using another feature uh, which is auto completion i don't remember exactly but i feel it was introduced in vancouver or if not in vancouver then definitely zanado okay so it will be of single line text type uh, 101 will be its order and i will keep it of read only type because obviously it is auto populating so people don't need to input any information there so i will make it read only and auto populate is the feature that i will be using here for this i will like to tell you that only uh, the fields which are of reference type will come up here so that's the reason i um, made it of reference type so made the computer variable as reference type so that i can use it further and uh, yeah so you can see clearly that i am able to use it and that's very good so let's uh, if uh, let's refresh this form meanwhile it saves so that we can check the update live what is happening and also open a uh, new for uh, creating a third variable so let's just paste the asset tag that i chose then here and you can see that asset tag is already populated so with this uh, second feature i have already illustrated now the third one is validation regex which will be which we will be understanding from the third variable again i will keep it of uh, uh, single line text but also you can keep it of wide line uh, wide single line text type like let me yeah these two so basically this validation regex comes only in two variable types which are of which are of a string type basically so single line text it will come in and in wide single line text it will come in but if you choose any other variable then this uh, will change it or uh, uh, other things will come if other things will not come then um, uh, validation regex will definitely not come so yeah we will be keeping uh, to single line text type and the question will be ip address and again i will make it mandatory because that is the information that we have to update in the table so obviously that has to be mandatory now in the validation regex i will be choosing ip address yeah see ip address is already um, a uh, present uh, validation regex here but in case of custom values like suppose you are not collecting ip address but you are collecting mac address ethernet mac address in that case you need to custom create but here we already have the ip address in our uh, um, oop format so we don't uh, need to custom create so that i will be showing you so let's meanwhile let's see how it looks uh, so this is the computer and i will be choosing it with again uh, this and now this is the ip address suppose i give it like 100 uh, this this is the acceptable format so it will not throw us any error but if i give it of in but if i give it let's say with only three decimals so you can see that it is throwing me not a valid ip address error message so uh, if i give any value which doesn't fits into the regex which is provided under this ip address validation regex then it will not accept that value okay which i will show you so basically our form is already complete i'm just showing you uh, the validation regex and uh, yeah yeah so this you can see that in oop we have all these uh, regex we have email we have ip address number url us zip code and all those things and ip address we have used so i already told you uh, told you what vali uh, what validation regex does and this is the form so yeah again uh, we covered a lot of topics in this video like the reference fields filters the auto completion feature the validation regex and all those things and this is again a very practical use case we are stopping here for now but in uh, real time you can also proceed to make a flow designer and attach it to uh, this uh, catalog item and that flow designer will basically pick up the data computer and then ip address and it will look up uh look up record in the uh, cmdb ci computer table with this asset tag it can either look up or either it can look up with name i would say use asset tag because name is not a unique field but asset tag is but asset tag is so you can look up with the asset tag uh, in the computer table and then you can update the ip address and then you can update the comments field there so it will be a full fledged uh, catalog item with the flow designer and everything 
so yeah uh, i hope i hope you learnt a lot of things again from this video and it was engaging and learning uh, so please 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 spare a moment to like share and subscribe this will motivate me a lot to come up with such engaging videos and uh, wonderful uh, use cases practical real time use cases and also i can think of other uh, playlists to uh, start so yeah please 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 spare a moment i will be very thankful so yeah thank you so much bye bye